Hi there, welcome back to my shop. Now if you happen to be a wood turner, and most of the people who come into my shop from time to time are wood turners, then you will likely know that this is what's called a banjo. If you're not a wood turner, you might be thinking, you're not gonna play Foggy Mountain Breakdown on that thing, and you'd be right. That's not what this is for. This is for holding your tool rest. So you can slide the banjo along your bedways to position it wherever you need to get your tool rest to do your turning. Now, a few nights ago, my friend Phil and his wife Gail stopped in for a visit. And while we were talking, he was mentioning that he was having a real hard time getting his banjo to slide along his bedways. And to be honest, I've been having that same problem with mine, and I knew what to do about it, but I've just been too lazy, believe it or not. So I decided I would put this together real quick to show Phil how to go about, hopefully, getting his to work better, unless it's a problem with adjusting his banjo in some way. This will 99% of the time cure that problem for you. So if you also have that problem, I hope you'll stick around and I'll show you what I believe is the fix for this problem. I have some 80 grit sandpaper that I've just wrapped around this piece of walnut. And I've just spent the last literally 20 seconds or less going over this piece from here over to here. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera well enough, but I can already see a big difference between here and here. And this is all I'm doing. All right, the improvement is not showing up much the way that it first did, but of course, the more blemish you could take off of here, the less it's going to show up until I get to finer grits of sandpaper. I'm not sure how far to take this, but I'm going to do this section a little bit more with 80 grit, move down to do this one, and then the last one. So. I will come back after I get some more finished and show you a bit more of the progress. I've got, I guess you could say the original section, an extension and another extension on here. And I've done all three of these with 80 grit. And I know you won't be able to feel the difference but believe me, the difference in how this slides is just amazing, just from that little bit. There's no wax on here, it's just bare steel on steel. Now, a normal wood turner would probably say, well, that's good enough, call it quits and be happy with this. But I've never been accused of being normal, so I'm going to take this up another step to 120 grit and see what kind of difference it makes. And I'll bring you back and show you that.
I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but I can see from my vantage point here that this finish is much superior to what it was. And because it's so much smoother, my banjo and tailstock will both slide much more easily across here. Of course, I'll still have that metal to metal shriek that I'm so fond of, it shows up once in a while. But this is really nice. Now, if I want to go a step further, I can take this banjo off. I just set it in here. And I can sand this. Now, to do the whole thing, I would have to take this apart. And I've done that in the past, and it's a pain in the butt to get it put back together properly. So I'm not going to do that. I'm simply going to take my sandpaper, starting again at 80 grit, and I'm just going to run it across here. So I'll just get ready, I'll come back, and I will start to sand this piece. Having this sit in the bedways, it's locked into position at least as well as anything I could build to hold it. So I'm going to leave it there, and I'm starting with 80 grit sandpaper. Well, even just that little bit, it's already looking better. I've added just a little piece of duct tape on here to hold this up and out of the way, so I should be able to get under here without the hassle it was causing me before. Well, I hope you could see the difference as I progressed on sanding that. I'm going to see if we can really see the difference what was sanded and what is not. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but there is quite a big difference. It's amazing. Now I'll put this back on. is just beautiful. Now I am not going to bother at the moment with the tail stock, but uh, I am going to do one more thing to make this a little better. And I have had more than one wood turner say that this is a bad idea. But I am going to wax this. When the banjo is tightened up, it literally pulls this up against the bottom in here. And that's what tightens it up. While the wax will make things slide more easily, I don't think it's going to interfere with the banjo once it's locked. So I'll get the wax out, put that on here and see what that does. In spite of the fact that I cleaned the dust off here very well, the metal dust, it's undoubtedly going to raise some black on the cloth here just from doing the polishing. 
<laughs> yeah, I'd say that was an understatement. So I will finish waxing these. I'll be back to show you the difference it might make. All right. Now I won't claim that was the easiest thing I've ever done. There was a lot of what we used to call elbow grease involved in doing this, but it slides so beautifully now. This is just amazing. And I did not do the tail stock because I wanted to see what difference there was without doing it. And it's amazing as well. Just beautifully done. So I hope this will help Phil and maybe a few other turners to get their lathe sliding just a little bit more easily. Well, if you're still with me, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that will be of use to some people. It's amazing the difference it can make just to file down or sand down, as I did in this case, some mating surfaces so they'll slide a little better and of course a little layer of wax can go a long way so again thank you for joining me if you like what you saw please click the like button let me know I'm doing something right leave a comment if you have something specific you want to say about this or about anything else to do with wood turning I always love to hear from you and if you haven't subscribed before I hope you'll do that and click the little notification bell so it lets you know whenever I put out another video. And I just want to say once again, thank you so much to all those who have subscribed. I really appreciate you more than I can say. So until next time, have a great day in your shop and be safe. Bye-bye now.